replacing a power supply on an Airport Extreme router. The toolkit can be purchased online along with the power supply. All right, let's get started. What okay. do need? All right, so there's a razor blade. Go in on this side. All right, and we just try out and pull up. There we go. All right, next what we're gonna do or these four screws. This thing right here. You'll push down and then it'll go it'll pull straight out. Okay. That pulls straight up. There's a uh, plug right here that we gotta take out. And then we can pull this thing. Get those two screws out down there. All right, now we have those screws popped loose down there. We pull up, up and out, just kind of squeeze together. Oh, you got to pull the uh, the indicator light off too. It's stuck on there with some sticky tape. What we really want to get to though, right underneath this black shield. This wire right here, separate it down. Pull this back and then work the wire out of the rubber fitting right there. Okay. There's the power supply. That's the old one. And it's a new one. Put all this back on. Feed one of the screws in. All right, there's a little a little piece of rubber that the core goes on, folds right out. Down, sticks back up the side. Okay, that should feed right in. Alright, power supply looks good, this goes back, make sure the plugs are all lined up, the bottom ones are a bit of a trick to get back, alright, make sure that's in there still, oh yeah, okay, and then we'll put the, uh, the black shield back on, pressed in there, Anything. Okay, and this is where you kind of be a little careful and not drop screws down into the uh, the power supply shield. And it does not like to sit in there. Got to get the reset button back in. One needs to get plugged back in. Okay, there we are. And then we have the indicator light. We just put the casing back on, holds everything in place.